Hello, welcome back. How are you doing? I am going to be sharing a few pieces that I picked up recently from Zara with you. I am so excited to share this actually because the pieces that I picked up in store, I picked up some pieces in store and then a couple of pieces online and the in store pieces I am so excited to try on and I wanted to try them on today so I thought I would just film this video with you. I know I did a summer to autumn video very recently so following that up a little sooner than I would normally but I'm just so excited to share these pieces with you. Also if you are a regular around here you will notice that something is different. This is not how this is staying. I'm banking on the fact that most of you think that this is green and gold, but it's actually not. If you know, you know. But yeah, this is gonna be white at some point soon. But yeah, sneak peek of what is going on in my bedroom. And I don't hate it. I don't even hate it like this. This is just the raw stuff, but I don't hate it. But yeah, this is the sole reason why there haven't been many vlogs recently. If you are new here, hi, I'm Susie. I make fashion videos and also vlog. There's not been a lot of vlogging because this was very, very noisy. My life is low level chaotic right now. Like I go to Copenhagen in the morning. I need this stuff. I literally need to try this stuff on because I need to know what I'm taking with me if I'm taking any of it. So let's just jump straight in and I'm going to show you the things. The first of which, I'm a sucker for a fluffy cardigan, but this is probably my favorite that I've ever seen Zara do. Like it's got all of these little, let me see if I can show you up close. It's got all of these like little textures in it. It's so beautiful. It looks really expensive and it's also not itchy to touch, which I am over the moon about because I hate when you get stuff like this and it's just itchy. Yeah. So I'm so excited about this. I'm really tempted to put it on now. Like I've been dying to put this on. So maybe I'll just change out of this top and put this on now because I just think it would look so cute. I got it in a size small and it was $22.99, which I don't think is bad. And I think it's like a cropped cardigan, but not like super, super cropped. Just like a nice little crop. I think it will look nice with like my high-waisted trousers. I could leave it open or I could just wear it like clothes. They don't do this any smaller. So if you do want it more cropped, sadly, I don't think that's going to be an option. But yeah, I might just put this on now because it's so cute. Oh my God, this is so fluffy. The only reservation I normally have about things that are fluffy, like jumpers that are this fluffy, is they normally bulk you a little bit on the shoulders. However, I feel like this year I've got enough hair <laughs> to hide that, so I don't really mind. Yeah, I love it. I love it. It's a nice fit, actually. It's not too tight. I just think the texture of it makes it look very premium. It's a little bit more interesting. It's not like pure fleece where everything is the same because of all the little bits that come off of it and the little lumpy <laughs> this is my technical terms the lumpy texture of it just kind of gives it a bit more of a unique look and therefore i think makes it look a little bit more expensive so yeah very very happy with this and i thought that this would look really nice with these jeans which i'm a little bit scared to try on because they are my size but they look tiny but they are high rise so i need to remember that i've been looking at so much low waist stuff recently and low waisted stuff always looks so much bigger because it's made to fit the hip and not the waist so this looks tiny now to me but yeah i had a little bit of a moment recently where i couldn't find my one beloved pair of mom jeans in it's like this black kind of like off black wash and i love them and i have since found them but on the day i went into zara i was like Do you know what i just need another pair of jeans that fit in like a similar way and i'm hoping these are going to we'll see but i wanted a gray pair of like mom jeans anyway that i could just throw on with like a t-shirt but i also think it would look really nice with this cardigan as well like that kind of mix of textures the denim and then the like fluffy knit i think would look really lovely i am going to crop the bottom like i already know they're probably going to be too long for me but i've just decided i'm just going to raw hem the bottom because i kind of wanted a raw hem pair anyway and zara didn't have any in store the brighton store actually has really bad jean selection if you are wondering i would definitely recommend ordering online but yeah i really like them i love like the texture to them like you can see a lot of different tones i really like that so yeah i hope these fit because i will definitely take them away with me if not i will take my black pair that i thankfully did find because i was very distressed at losing those because they're my favorite jeans but yeah i'll show you what these look like on it now with the cardigan we can work it all out together and see whether it works as a look okay so this is the little crop cardi i thought first i would just show you how i kind of envisioned styling it the second i saw it in zara of course my brain went straight to my low rise trousers that i have from urban outfitters and i just adore them so much like i'm getting the most wear out of them that i can before winter and it becomes incredibly painful for me to have my summer gone show but yeah i like the fact that this jumper isn't too cropped so there's not too much stomach like it's just a really nice little amount i thought with my 
little over the shoulder bag as well it would just look really really sweet i'm definitely going to be making the most out of this outfit whilst i still can probably wear some proper shoes not my fluffy birkenstocks but they always kind of work weirdly probably just wear some converse or some like real birkenstocks a pair of boots anything but yeah i really like the texture of this cardigan with the pinstripe trousers i just think it looks so cool i really really like it so that is kind of my intended way of styling it but like i said i do think it will go well with the mom jeans too so i'm gonna show you those now so this is the cardigan and gray jean combo i really like grey jeans they fit really well i am definitely going to be cutting a significant amount off of the bottom just to give them like a little bit more of a cropped look i think even going into autumn i would prefer that if i'm going to be wearing them with an ankle boot for example but let me know what you guys think whether you think i should crop them or not i'll show you what they look like uncropped they kind of like are perfectly full length i think they're obviously meant to be cropped but i'm five foot two for reference if you are newer here they are a perfect full length jean but i just think with a pair of boots on sometimes i think it looks a bit cooler especially with a raw hem if they are a little bit more cropped not super cropped but just like a tiny bit just so it actually hits at the ankle i think that would be really nice so yeah i think with a pair of like croc leather boots i'll show you my favorite pair underneath these jeans i think it would just look really cool and just cropping the bottom a little bit more which kind of like helped to show a bit more of the shoe off if that makes sense so these are my favorite pair of croc boots i just think it makes more of a feature of the shoe if the jean were to be a bit more cropped so i'm going to watch this back along with you but you can let me know full length or cropped i think the full length is definitely going to make my leg look a little bit longer but this way we make more of a feature of the shoe. So let me know what you think. The next item that I'm so excited to try on is this jacket. And I don't generally love a jacket like this because my body is very short and crop jackets don't always hit at the right point. But I had to take a chance on this because this oatmeal texture is just stunning. Oh my God, it's like this, almost like a biker style jacket, but in, I don't know what material this is. Like, a, is this a wool? It feels like a wool, but it's probably not a wool because it's... Zara. Yeah, no, it's polyester. I got this in a size small and it was 49 99 i think it's such a gorgeous color and i really like the fact that it has this like very light gold champagne kind of zip detailing to it and all of the hardware on it is that like champagne -y gold i just think it's really beautiful so very excited to try this on i think this will look just really lovely with a pair of like skinny jeans and then some like really cool high leg boots not like really high up to over the knee kind of vibe i think it would look really nice so yeah let's try this on see how we go it might be a bit long on my body, but we'll see. I just think the tone of it is so stunning. And I generally like to wear a lot of black in autumn and winter. So this is like a nice way to soften some of my looks up a little bit. Okay, so I wasn't expecting this, but I just tried this on with a pair of wide leg black jeans. <laughs> jeans is the word. And I really, really love it. It's really casual down. And I originally thought that this would be something I would wear more in a kind of like smarter capacity, like think All Saints vibes. And that's how I kind of thought that I would wear this. But actually I really love it with a pair of wide leg jeans and my Converse, I think it looks really nice. And I also, this is the first time I'll ever say it, I really rate this just like done up a little bit. Not too much, not too like, you know, done, but just done up a little bit. I love it. It's like a little bit oversized really cute i like the way the silhouette looks from the side like really boxy just really casual and really chill and this is not something that i would have ever thought that i would say because i am normally such a you know like classic silhouette person like making sure everything is really streamlined and not like too oversized and i don't normally mix oversized and oversized or like whatever but i really like it and i just love this jacket as well it's so nice i'm going to show it to you with a pair of like tighter jeans and some killer boots as well just because i know that that will look great too and will definitely be something that i will be wearing throughout this autumn winter as per every autumn winter because it's just such a classic look that i love bringing back year after year it's really time that it's like this pair of boots i've had i actually have had them for so long now i think maybe like three three years and i bring them back out every winter i love them so much they're just like a really affordable pair from asos but i live for them okay so this is the jacket styled up in a little bit more of a classic way i'm wearing a pair of skinny jeans from river island i wouldn't recommend them one because they are 
crop so they're fine for this kind of look because the boots come up way higher you can't even tell and I just put a pair of like warm socks on underneath but not great generally for the rest of winter or going into autumn unless you enjoy having cold ankles I also wouldn't recommend them unless you enjoy limp rollering yourself for every second of the day because for some reason fluff just gets attached to these it's like nothing else I've ever seen before no other pairs of jeans that I own do it they are absolutely terrible but the fit is great and they're very very dark as well which i really like whereas a lot of other jeans you buy them and then you get them home and they're actually like a slightly off black i just think it's very elongating on the body which is something that i really value but yeah i really like the jacket along with the look i just think it's such a nice classic way to style this really nice and easy i just love this jacket it's so cute i really like the boxiness of it i think i might keep it what do you guys think it's not too fitted it's not too cropped like it's not really giving anything in that sense but i like how boxy it is and slouchy and it just feels kind of cozy i'm here for the crazy vibes because it is that season you know next up you guys know i cannot resist like a little shirt jacket kind of situation this i think is more like an under layer than an outer layer because it's quite thin but how cute is this so it's like a little i want to say like is this boucle or tweed i'm gonna say tweed someone help me out here it's got like black white and beige tones running through it and then these like matte black buttons i just think it's so sweet and it would look really nice even with like a baggier high-waisted pair of jeans i think that would look really cool but also with like black tailored wide leg trousers skinny jeans this is just a really nice versatile little top it would also look really nice with like a black skirt and a pair of boots i think that would look very autumnal a little hat that kind of vibe but depending on your climate this can be like layered up in lots of different ways as well i really like it i got a size small and it was 49 99 it's a little bit cropped i think but it's not going to be super cropped on me but if you have a longer body it will probably have a little bit more of a crop so this is the little cropped shirt jacket on i love this i think it's so sweet you could pair this with skinny jeans and like knee high boots that kind of vibe but i actually really like this casual down so with this wider leg pair of black jeans and then just a pair of plumbers i just really love the look of it i like the length of the shirt jacket and how it kind of hits with the jeans as well it's just a very easy just very casual look but you still look very cool together as well and you could kind of make this a little bit if you work in an office it is more like smart casual not corporate you could wear this with just like a pair of trousers into the office and i think it would look really nice as well but yeah i just mainly love it with a pair of jeans i think it just makes it look so much cooler and i really like it done up as well versus being open and having a top underneath i think this is just a slightly fresher take on like having a cropped shirt jacket on it's also very warm as well and very thick i'm wearing more as like a layering piece rather than a piece of outerwear and then we have one of the most gorgeous jackets it's like a almost like an, a crop aviator style with this lovely beige like shearling on the inside it's so stunning however zara do two versions of this this version has like lots of buckles on it but there is a version that doesn't so i actually also ordered the version that doesn't because buckles really annoy me too many buckles and too many like bits tend to really annoy me and i didn't realize when i was in store that they did a version without all of the buckling and when i saw the version without buckling i was like right we're just gonna put these to the test i'll let you know which one is the best one but yeah this is a gorgeous color it's got like a black trim running through it the collar i think on this one is a little bit less exaggerated if my memory serves me right but yeah you do have like this buckling which i would probably do my best to take off if possible but yeah it's very cropped which i really like because my issue i always tend to have with aviators is that they are so long and they tend to hit me at my widest point on my bottom half and it just isn't flattering the silhouette it is not giving so yeah i thought a cropped version could be a bit better because it could sit just above that point but we'll see but this is a size where's the label i got this in a large because i did want it to be a little bit more oversized but that could be a mistake to be fair if i don't want it to hit at like a weird point but it doesn't look like a large does it it looked like it was quite a small fit so i got a large it's 79.99 I really like the collar on it though, like that texture is really, really lovely. I wanna try it on. Just trying everything on before we get to the try ons. I do really like the fact that it is oversized, like to actually just sit in. <laughs> I haven't stood up and seen myself, but it feels like it's quite spacious and I did want something that I could wear over my knitwear. Oh, it's cute. 
It's really cute. I'm basically doing a Joey from Friends and uh, wearing all the clothes. Okay, next we are moving on to my online order, which may or may not involve some shoes. So this is the jacket. Now, I don't know if I love the texture of this teddy bear material as much as I do the other one. I don't like its touch, I don't really like the way it looks, but it does not have buckles, so it definitely has that going for it. This one's also more of a like warm brown, the other one has almost like a cool tone to it. Wait, am I hearing a buckle? Oh no. There is only one buckle to be fair, but still. I think this one's also a little bit longer. Yeah, this is much longer. Oh, it's gonna be so interesting comparing the two. So I got this one in a medium and this one was more expensive, I think at 99, 99. Does that one P really make all the difference when someone's purchasing it? I know it's meant to, I just don't believe it. That lining does look so cozy though. I just don't love the way it feels, but I'll try it on and compare to the previous one and let me know which one is your favorite. I, I think the previous one maybe, but we'll see. Oh my God, you guys, this is gonna sound really over dramatic, but this probably will be one of the hardest decisions I will ever make <laughs> in my life over these two coats because they are both so nice. When I say coats, I mean jackets, but one of them is like so snugly, I would consider it a coat. Also, yes, I am covered in fluff. I don't know if it'll show up on camera. I'm not limp rollering myself again. Like I just tried both of these on off camera and I'm just immediately covered in fluff. And these jeans are the worst in the world for getting covered in fluff. So I have failed. <laughs> I have fully messed up here. But yeah, I'm so excited to show these to you. I actually don't know how I'm gonna decide. Like when I tried the first one on, I was like, yes, this is the one, it's so nice. And then I tried the other one on and I was like, Oh, they're both nice. Okay, so I'm gonna go with the more affordable one first, which I actually really liked it. I tried it on when my hair was just tucked in and I really liked that. So maybe we'll, maybe we'll stick with that. So yeah, I'm intrigued to see which one you guys like better. Like this one is definitely more cropped and I actually can't imagine having bought this like in my actual size. It would have been so cropped. So if you're looking for something that is more of a crop fit then definitely go for this one it's really nice just like the cuffs are really cute it is just a lovely autumn jacket i really like it i think i'd get a lot of wear out of it however i am going to show you the next jacket and the next one makes me understand the price difference like when you try it on they are two completely different jackets on the website you look at them and you think yeah they're very similar and like when you have them in front of you just like like not on they look very similar but two very different jackets so this is the second jacket so this is only one size up so you can see the difference in like the intended fit between the two of them i could have gone for a small in this but actually i'm really glad i got a medium because it's nice and roomy for one so i'll definitely be able to get things in under this as it gets colder however i also just think that it it's like I love I love it I love how like over exaggerated the collar is the cuffs are so much bigger and so much more chunky like it's just so much more of a statement I'd love to know what you guys think and which one you prefer I think this could really like split people this one is definitely more of a statement whereas the other is more of a classic autumn winter jacket yeah this one has completely changed my mind seeing it on versus having it in front of me like I completely don't mind about the like teddy fabric now. I just think it is amazing. It's, this is the collar for me, it's so cool. I absolutely love it. I think it is just stunning. You know me, love statement outerwear for autumn winter. Like I just think this is the season where it's all about the shoes, it's all about the coats because everything else underneath is just going to be so effing basic because all we wear is coats in the UK. Coats are life. Like honestly, imagine if my, I was actually having like a good hair day, all snuggled up in this. It would be so cute. And I think this would look nice both worn with like the skinny jeans, like I'm wearing them now, but also with a wider leg trouser or like jean or whatever. I think this would still be so nice. And just worn like really oversized, really slouchy and just be like such a statement. Yeah, like this just, this is, this is mine now. See ya. And then we have another pair of jeans in the actual like black wash because they didn't have these in store so that was why I went online and ordered these. These I think if 
I remember rightly are the exact same pair that I have my blue mom jeans in so I'm hoping that the fit will be the same and I'll love them just as much and the length on these was always pretty good as well I got 36 which is the size that I think I have in the majority of my jeans apart from one dark blue pair the indigo was coming up like way bigger and I had to go for a 34 but yeah I went for a 36 and it was 29.99 so we will see how we go with these but yeah I still even though I got the grey pair of jeans at this point I wasn't sure if I found my other pair of jeans so I wanted to make sure I have an insurance pair because I just can't be without a black pair of jeans I was just like lost without them okay these jeans fit so nicely I'm really happy with them the reason they're not styled up right now is because I'm actually gonna just pull together an outfit quickly and show you how I wanted to wear them on the day that I couldn't find my black jeans and I'm actually really glad that I did get these jeans in the end because they are a much darker wash than my other black jeans my other ones are like somewhere between a black and the grey that I showed you earlier and I just think the black will look a lot better with the look that I wanted to pull together. So I'll show you why in a second, that's why this isn't styled up. But yeah, really happy with the fit of them as always. I've definitely found my sweet spot with Zara jeans. A size eight is my go-to, so very, very happy with them. I'm gonna be taking them away on my next trip with me and I'm going to pair them with these loafers, which I got from Reformation. I wanted to show you these when I last did my Farfetch order, but they took a little bit longer to arrive. So yeah, these are some really gorgeous loafers from Reformation and I was trying to find my black jeans so that I could wear these to my appointment the other day and I just couldn't find them anywhere and I was so sad because I really wanted to wear these shoes. So those loafers, my favourite black tees which are from Selected Femme, it's a brand that I got off of Amazon Fashion because I was doing some work with them and they're just the nicest t-shirts. I sized up as well so that they are a little bit more slouchy because that is the kind of fit that I love and as we go into autumn this like plain black tee will 100% be turning into a plain black long sleeve jumper but till then I'm just going to be throwing my All Saints wool kind of trench coat over the top which is my go-to I wear it every single autumn winter my beloved black Balenciaga bag which I'm probably gonna have to start wearing across body soon because the shoulder strap just doesn't like sitting on top of coats like it just slips off all the time like it needs some kind of rubber underneath it to stop it slipping but this is the look that i have been dying to pull together for ages i love the addition of the loafers they have been such a good addition to my wardrobe i'm so excited to get wearing them this autumn winter i bought them like at the end of summer so i haven't fully worn them yet but i'm so excited because they just look so cool with this outfit i absolutely love it i love the smart casual vibes it is just everything so yeah that is how i will be styling these jeans up over the next couple of months for sure oh my god you guys these shoes i am so excited about these but i also don't know if there'll be a slight hazard to wear out but i'm so obsessed with these oh my goodness look look at these they are so cool. Oh my god, even the toe is like pointed and they've got a little wrap around the ankle bit. I just love them. This is like a black, it's almost like a suede kind of material that is on the toe as well. Oh my god, I just love them. They're not too high either. They're like not a kitten heel, but they're not like a full heel, if that makes sense. So I think these could be a really nice pair for wearing out and like actually not being completely uncomfortable. Oh my god, I'm so excited to try these on. I just think with like a little black dress, these would be amazing and like really elevate the outfit. Like I just love a pair of statement shoes. I'm really into my shoes at the moment, hence why I have bought two pairs of shoes in this order. I just think if you get a great pair of shoes, they will elevate a very basic outfit for you. And yeah, I'm just all about the shoes at the moment. They don't even have to be like expensive shoes, but just all about those statement pieces that elevate your already existing wardrobe. I could wear a black pair of jeans and a black t-shirt and then put these on and it just like takes a look to a completely different level. I just think they're so cool. So really excited to try those on. I got them in a size five. So yeah, fingers crossed they're comfy and they fit well. I'm so excited for these. So I've styled up this pair of shoes with one of my favorite outfits and if anyone wants to invite me anywhere, no, actually don't worry about it. I'm gonna wear these for my birthday. I don't need to be invited to places, but if anyone wants to invite me to some more dinners, I will 100% be wearing these shoes, probably with this outfit because I love it. So we've got my very cropped little shirt from Misguided. There's a little, what brand is it? Like Savage 
Fenty bra underneath just for that lace trim I really like that kind of layering and then I've got the black jeans that I tried on earlier on and then we have spiky shoes of dreams I don't know if these are the shoes of anyone else's dreams except mine but oh my god these are so cool I've always wanted a pair of shoes like this but I've actually never seen any like it on the high street and I love them so much they're also really comfy like you can tell I love them like the tags are off the tags are off. I'm obsessed with them. I mean, I wish my toes were bright green right now. I might have to order a black gel polish and like redo my nails before my birthday, like express treatment. But yeah, I absolutely love them. They are just stunning. I'm so, so excited to wear them. They're so good. They also are very true to size. I'd say they feel very comfortable on my feet, like no issues in terms of actual sizing or anything like that. They feel so comfy. I'm a bit obsessed with these. And then we also have this pair of boots. They're like a platform chunky pair of boots. I love a platform boot. I think they are literally so comfortable. These are like in a suede material. Why do they have loads of fluff on them? That's annoying, go away. I really like these. They've got a zip side, so I'm pretty sure they're gonna be like quite tight to the ankle, which is something I love. Any shoe that will like streamline my ankle and kind of like make a feature out of it, I absolutely adore. These are gonna be so high, but I'm so excited to wear them. I think because of the platform, because it's so chunky, I think they're gonna be very, very comfortable and I think I'll get a lot more wear out of a boot like this during the winter even like for going out more so than I would the Versace-esque platforms that have been everywhere I even tried a pair on in my summer to autumn Zara haul if you haven't seen that I will link it some really great pieces in there like it was it was a very good order I literally everything that I kept from that I have been wearing on repeat over and over and over especially because I haven't had access to like all of my wardrobe stuff whilst all of this has been going on honestly it's been a lifesaver so yeah definitely go and give that a watch there's like a whole blazer skirt cohort set that has been like the absolute dream oh my god the fluffy blouse it's got feathers oh amazing like absolutely loved everything in that order and i'm still like wearing it on repeat right now but yeah i tried on a pair of platform heels in that but they were like more open and it just wasn't vibing with it but i think a pair of shoes like this with like a little black dress kind of in the winter i think i'll get a lot of wear out of also just with like a skinny jean i think i'll get a lot of wear out of these and because of the platform they'll probably be a little bit more comfortable to walk around in so i'm hoping i'll get a decent amount of wear out of them as long as they fit obviously i got these in a size five so yeah we'll see how we get on with them okay these shoes are so fun these could be another contender for birthday shoe if i'm honest because i just think they're going to be really comfy and could be a lot of fun to jump around in whilst doing karaoke so these could be a good contender even if i make the dress code super like cash and just wore like skinny jeans but then like a big oversized tee or jumper these boots would look really really cool with that as well so these could be a good all-rounder to be honest and i really do like i mean it when i say it. i think they're gonna be so comfortable they are a little bit loose on the ankle which isn't the end of the world but i would have just liked them really really fitted but you can't win them all but yeah very very happy with them overall let me know what you think i feel like platforms always really divide people but for me i just love them they're such a classic and whenever this style like comes back around I just always love it. Like I always really enjoy wearing platform shoes. Maybe it's the short girl in me, but I also just find them very, very comfortable. Like I love a shoe with a platform more than any other shoe. So yeah, interested to know what you guys think about these. So I just wanted to jump in and show you for reference, these are the boots with the oversized t-shirt and skinny jeans. And I really like this kind of look. It does feel very old school like this though. So you could always make the t-shirt like a little bit longer, a little bit baggier and just kind of wear it loose and oversized. You know, I love a comfy vibe. So this is like, a nice mix of like looking pulled together and a little bit taller but also just being very very comfortable but yeah i still like it tucked in i think tucked in as well it could look really cool with the leather jackets with like the fur cuffs as well but yeah just for reference because i mentioned it and i'm just gonna go now because these jeans are annoying me so much like they are just so fluffy after trying everything on so love you bye. before we go i have to show you something it's not Zara, but along a very similar vein, I wanted to give you guys a heads up on this because these come back every single year. I'm hoping they're still in stock by the time you guys see this because I wanted to give you a heads up that they are back in stock and I literally just ordered one. And this is a little sneak peek of what is to come. I'm gonna be doing a little coat edit again this year, which I'm so excited to film. Hopefully I'll be doing that when I get back from my trips. But Mango have brought back their 
Cotigan in stock. So they do this in tan. I will pop a picture of me wearing my tan one on screen right now. It is my go-to. I've had it for about three, four. Oh my God, I think it might be not, like nearly five years. When did I get it? 2018. When? How many years is that? Four years. Yeah, I love my tan one. I wear it every single autumn, winter. I absolutely adore it. But they do a grey one this year. And I was all over it i need to show you this on because you have to see it on to like understand but the mango cotigans are just like the best investment you could make in autumn winter and i just wanted to give you guys a heads up before it sells out that it's back in stock and these are just the best like they're so soft like the quality has not changed like they're still really lovely i got a size small and i'm just so happy with it i think because i've been wearing a lot more like black and silver and stuff recently that the gray was a good purchase but i obviously will also be wearing the tan one a whole lot this autumn winter but i'm so excited that they brought them back in stock and it's the exact same like sometimes they bring a version back in stock that isn't exactly the same or as good as the version that i love so much but this is like the exact version no tie waist just big old like pockets like a big cardigan coat like you could wear this in the house if you wanted to but it also works like it's really warm and it works as a coat so i'll show you this on now and like styled up i'll show you the tan one to compare as well obviously it's a little bit older so just really quickly going to show you guys the crochet guns i absolutely adore these if you can get your hands on them i would highly recommend getting your hands on them this is probably the purchase of the month that i am the most excited about they are just the best autumn winter classic staple piece to have in your wardrobe i've just paired it with a simple oversized tee underneath skinny jeans and then some reformation loafers but yeah absolutely love this could not recommend getting your hands on it enough i would recommend sizing up though because i have i think a medium in my other one I think yeah a medium and uh, it is a little bit more oversized and slouchy which I do love a lot this is the camel one and they've also brought this back this year as well and I just I think it's stunning I absolutely love it I know I'll get so much wear out of both of them so yeah if you can get your hands on these definitely pick them up they are just like the best piece to have in your wardrobe so i just thought i'd include that as a little sneak peek i'm not going to show you everything today because i just don't have the time but that is everything that i picked up from zara this month i hope you guys really enjoyed this video let me know what you think i should keep or return in the comments below i hope you're all having a lovely day and i'll see you guys again very very soon love you bye